welcome to Kung Fu Pod. Kung Fu means hard work, and that's exactly what this podcast is about. How you can apply Kung Fu or hard work to your everyday life. I am here with actually my student, Sifu Matt Martin, from Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, he has applied his Kung Fu in several different facets of his life. But one of the things Matt is known for is hiking. So he's hiked all over the world. Um, he's, he's done... Ireland, he's in the Appalachian Trails, he's in several places in the US, but one of the main things I wanted to talk about today was he actually hiked the entire Appalachian Trail, correct? Yeah. So how far is that? Um, it's about 2200 miles and it runs from the state of Georgia up to the state of Maine, northern Maine. Okay, and how long did that take you? <clears throat> about five months of continuous hiking and one month of resupplying and uh, rest days. Okay. So six months in total. Six months total. Okay, so when you say continuous hiking for five months, like how does that get broken up in terms of like two weeks at a time and one week break or? Uh, <clears throat> no, I wish. There was, uh, <laughs> there was only maybe a time for two days where I had consecutive back-to-back -back days off. Otherwise, it was five months of continuous hiking. Every morning you wake up, break down, pack up, check your map, gather water, eat a granola bar, and hit the trail. Okay, Five and you have to months. carry everything with you? Everything, yeah. So, you've been doing Kung Fu for how long? Uh, like 17, almost 18 years. Okay, and you've been hiking for how long? Um, close to similar, maybe a little bit longer with hiking. Okay, um, so that kind of parallel each other in terms of your training, your Kung Fu training, your hiking. Right, yeah. um, how, do they, how do they cross? Well, the great aspect of long distance hiking is setting your own pace and again this parallels very well with Chinese Kung Fu. So in the beginning down in Georgia, everyone tends to leave with the season at the same time. Um, so I saw an enormous amount of 20 something year olds um, you know, taking a break prior to getting into college. There was a lot of that, but on the flip side of that were 60 something year olds. And the funny thing is I saw more 60-something-year-olds once I got to New England than I did of 20-year-olds. So you may very well have that physical ability, you may very well have that youth, but if you don't have that patience and that determination, discipline, and drive to succeed, it's too far. It's too hard for too long. Uh, you, know, you won't make it. Right. So um, what would you say is the best... Er the best physical exercise in Kung Fu that prepared you for actually doing the hiking? Was it like the stretching, your stances, or what would you say? No, it was Bai Fu Sao. Bai Fu Sao. Alright, there you have it guys. So those of you who do not know what Bai Fu Sao is, it's basically our main horse stance, our riding horse stance, which is in a previous podcast that you can click on a link here and check that out. Um, in addition, we do our diaphragmatic breathing during that exercise and we're, it's almost like a, a movement meditation. So Diaphragmatic Breathing was also a previous podcast, so if you're interested in all of these different aspects of Kung Fu and, and everything we've been talking about, please make sure you subscribe. But if you, know, you want to hike a long distance, um, this is a Sifu Matt's suggestion is to do a, a lot of bike itself. <laughs> so, um, is there anything you want to add about um, you know, your time on the trail and, and for those people who maybe are like you, who do Kung Fu and they like hiking, is there any advice that you want to give to our viewers? Um, the best advice I can give you is set your own pace. Um, don't ever feel like you're way ahead leading the pack and don't ever feel like you're at the back trailing behind. You, quite frankly, if you can stay in your own mind and follow your own pace, uh, you'll get to the top of the mountain. You'll get better at Kung Fu. You'll achieve your goals, but don't make yourself rush and don't make yourself feel uh, inadequate. Just take your time. Take your time. You'll get there. Right, well, great advice from our um, North Carolina seafood and hiking expert. So if you have any questions, you can um, tag them at the bottom and ask uh, Sifu Matt about hiking because that is definitely not my realm and what I do. More of an indoors person. <laughs> but we absolutely think it's amazing and we're really proud of him. He actually was um, up on that top of that mountain with his wallum flag, so it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, and it's definitely a lifetime achievement. I mean, a lot of people do that, I, I imagine. So, well, congratulations on that. Thanks for joining us. Uh, again, if you're enjoying these podcasts, please subscribe below and um, leave us a comment. Check out all of our links and more of our podcasts. We have so many um, great special guests that have joined us over the past few months. So, keep up the hard work. Bye.